So far, it seemed that the eye would perceive information on an elementary level, that is, individual beams of light would be uh, transformed into neuron firings and then perceived by the brain. But of course, some integration of information happens, and this integration is also reflected by the um, perception of objects. And there is a whole theory behind, which is the theory of Gestalt perception, that uh, explains a little bit how our brain processes these types of information. Actually, it seems to follow some number of laws in order to perceive different objects. There is the law of proximity, which says that things which are near to each other are grouped together. Then the law of similarity, which means that similar things are grouped together. The law of common form, which groups together things of similar shape, pattern or color. The law of good continuation, which tries to prefer spatial and temporal simplicity. The law of common fate, which explains that things moving into the same direction are grouped together. The law of closure, that says that contours are completed. The distinction between inside and outside and the so-called figure ground segregation. You see that these are a number of laws and I will show you visual examples of some of them in the following slides. Here you see an example of the closure principle. That is, it seems that there is a rectangular shape which is just built by these four circles which have an opening at each side. And in order to continue this form, uh, this leads to a rectangular shape. Here you see an example of the common form, that is, uh, we have either rows of dark and bright blue colored points which form these lines in a vertical or in a horizontal plane, and the law of good continuation which forms the triangle in the right panel of this picture. Here you see an example of the distinction between inside and outside, and although the shape here is very very the same, very much the same. You see different things. On the left hand side, you might see a vase. On the right hand side, you might see the same object, but it seems more that these are two faces looking at each other. And this even becomes more apparent when you separate the figure from the ground as it is shown in this panel here. So it seems that there is a combination of these law, laws which governs what we actually see. And this can be summarized in the so-called law of good gestalt, which says that elements of objects tend to be perceptually grouped together if they form a pattern that is regular, simple, and orderly to the human perceiving test participant. Now, there might be some illusions in this perception, and you probably know some of them. Here you see an example. For example, on the left panel, it seems that the upper tr uh, square is a little bit larger than the lower square, but this actually comes only from these uh, uh, touching lines in the middle. The same applies for the middle panel, where it seems that the upper uh, middle line is a little bit longer than the lower one. And it also applies to the color. For example, in the right panel, you think that the lower square would be a little bit darker than the upper square, but this actually only comes from the surrounding uh, gray shading. So these are optical illusions which are produced by II, and some of them have an origin in the different sensitivities, as we have explained that when we explained the ganglion cells. Now, the formation of objects has been also the object of different uh, perceptual theories. For example, there is the so-called recognition by components theory, which can be actually used in order to produce objects for visual presentation. Um, here, objects seem to be recognized by volumetric features, which are called geons. And the theory proposes that there are approximately 36 geons that may be combined to make more or less all 3D objects we could think of. And uh, you see examples of these uh, objects which can be formed in the panel behind me. 
There are also relations between these geons which matter. For example, actually where you put this kind of handle to the either suitcase or to the cup uh, is of course very important in order to, to describe what that object might mean.